guys, hope you're well and welcome back. And hello anyone that is new, my name is Ellis and I share lots of content over here from cleaning and routine videos to interiors and renovations. I also feature loads of hauls so they can be home sense hauls or Primark hauls or whatever it may be. I also do lots of finances, travel, budgeting, law of attraction, you name it. I cover a wide variety of topics over here. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then I would love to have you over here. Click the little red button below and subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And any of my old subscribers on here too who have been with me for a long time, don't forget to turn on that bell notification button too so you're notified as well. As so many of you guys have said to me recently that my videos can go and walk about in your subscription boxes. But today I'm going to be sharing with you an August favourites video. I have not done a video like this in such a long time. I've had a long list on my phone of loads of my favourite things and this is going to array from some beauty products, some skincare, some home items, some organisational items, cleaning items, food, TV programmes, you name it, there's a whole wide variety in there. So if you want to see some of my favourites for this month then just keep watching. Okay, where do I start? I think I'm going to start with some of my skincare and beauty favourites. So the first one is this one here and it's nearly all gone. Um, it is by Bare Minerals and it's a total cleansing oil. I have completely ditched the makeup wipes, completely, they're completely gone. And how many times I just want to say completely then, I do not know. Um, but yeah, they're gone, they're no longer in my routine, I no longer use wipes, I'm no longer using like miscular water with like cotton pads and stuff like that which is a lot better for the environment and I'm now using this. It's a delicate blend of bilberry, barrage, cucumber, sunflower oils and rich mineral sea salts. And basically this just takes off my makeup. I normally, sometimes I'll do it before the shower, sometimes after. I tend to try and do it before because I don't like hot makeup clogging my pores but I use this morning and night and it basically cleanses and gets rid of all my makeup. Everything comes off. I've gone out and bought like a ton of muslins and like I've got like just like flannels and stuff like that. And I just use one of those every single day and take off my makeup. It takes me seconds to do. Just as easy if not easier than a makeup wipe because I'm not using a ton of them. Much more cost effective. This one's by Bare Minerals and I was actually gifted this one after they invited me up to try some products and I didn't know they were going to give me some items afterwards that I tried. Um, but you don't have to have like a wet face. I believe you can use this dry as well. I'm um, just trying to have a look. But yeah, I really, really have enjoyed using this. It's so light on my skin. My skin has been so much better since using this. I've been using this now, I would say, for gosh, at least three, four months and I've still got quite a bit left. So I would definitely recommend this and I'll link everything below as well that I can so you can go on over and check it out yourself. The next skincare item that I've been using is the Pixi Glow Tonic. Now I was going to try and get hold of the Lacura one which is by Aldi, but then I figured why not try the Pixi one, but it was the price tag, the price tag of £18 for something that might not work, put me off. And then when I went in and thought bugger it, I'm just going to go for it. I saw they did like a little miniature travel size bottle and this was £10 and I figured this is so much better than me spending out all this money. Now I don't use it very often because I have very sensitive skin but I find this is amazing for when I've got spots. Any spots that randomly come up, this just seems like get rid of them overnight. So I will cleanse my face and then put a little bit of this on a cotton pad, go around my face before I go to bed. I don't find it stings and I've normally got really sensitive skin to that sort of stuff doesn't skin sting doesn't tingle it just leaves my face feeling really good it's a five percent glycolic acid exfoliating toner and i just find this works really really well for 10 pounds i'm not put off by the price tag at all and i'll definitely be repurchasing this um, and hardly any of it's gone as well which i'm really impressed by Okay, so next up are some lipsticks and these are two of my favourites. The first one is the one that I'm wearing today, which is this one here by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Pillow Talk. I'm obsessed with this. I lusted over this for quite a long time, but I saw so many other people wearing it and I thought, hmm. And at the time I was like, I don't want to go out and spend money on something I might not necessarily like because I'm trying to have like a bit of a tie of the year this year. Um, but yeah, tried this, love it. Like I'm obsessed with the colour on it. It's this gorgeous like nudie brownie pinky shade like it's it's literally the perfect color 
It's the one I'm wearing today, so it doesn't look too like in your face, anything like that. So I love that. And then creeping back out because it's autumn. Oh my gosh, so obsessed. I probably have said this one in like my last favorites video or something like that because that's how long ago it was. But is this one here? It's by MAC. It's called Whirl. I wore this in my latest Primark haul and probably the Home Sense haul that I did as well because it just has all the autumnal vibes about it. Um, it's a lot darker in colour. It's more of a brownie shade, but I love this one. It's lasted me a good few years. It probably needs to be chucked. Um, but I'm obsessed with this one and every autumn this comes out and sees me right through. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to some fragrance and things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I picked up recently in my Home Sense haul, and I'll leave that linked above if you want to check it out. But it is the Zen Aromatherapy Rose Water Pillow Spray. Oh my gosh. So when I smelt this in the shop, I loved it, but it just smells so good on your pillows before you go to bed. And I mentioned at the time that I'm not a big fan of rose, so I didn't know how this was going to go down. But I've already used in about a week about a quarter of <laughs> about a quarter of it already probably isn't the best it was 4 dollars so I think really affordable for a pillow spray actually and this smells really good if I can find this online anywhere I'll link it because sometimes some of these gems that you find in HomeSense are available online somewhere yeah 100% check out HomeSense or TK Maxx look for some of their pillow sprays they had so many in and I'm really enjoying this one then moving on you will either see this in an upcoming Poundland B&M haul because <laughs> I bought a few of them or this may or the haul may have already gone live before I publish this video I'm not quite sure which way around I'm going to upload them however it is these it's the Airwick Pure no added water soft cotton scented air fragrance oh my gosh this is amazing so anyone that has tiles you will know the age old problem of like spraying air freshener and they get wet and they're slippery and everything else last year I purchased one from B&M and it was like a I want to say the brand was called Braun um I've still got it because it's still lasted me it's lasted about a year and a half and it's got no chance of going anytime soon but I can never find them anymore and then I found out these and these are just mist they don't leave your floor wet at all they do so many scents they've got so many Christmas scents coming out oh just honestly you need to try these if you have porcelain tiles or you have anywhere that you don't want getting slippery like even wooden flooring or LVT flooring, whatever it is, or maybe you just don't even want your carpets getting damp, you know, when they get really damp and they're matted, and yeah, try these out. They're two pounds a can when they're on offer, or two pounds a standard in like B&M and Poundland, and they're amazing. And then my last scented item, oh my gosh, I featured this in my home scents haul. It was 12 99 because the price is still on it because I haven't taken it off. I was trying, <laughs> I was trying to keep this. I was trying to wait desperately for autumn to come a little bit more just a little bit more but it didn't happen did it no i had to light it and oh my gosh i've used so much of it already so it is a sand and fog pumpkin spice candle this smells amazing like i hate cinnamon i normally hate these scents but this is so good i mean honestly it's so strong as well a few of you guys were asking me how strong it was it's really strong you can smell it it's really good it's a three wick burner like I said, I've already done about this much in a, in a couple of burns. Um, so yeah, but definitely worth the $12.99. I think this will still last me quite a little while yet, but I absolutely love it. Like, I am obsessed. The smell is like, it smells autumnal, but still fresh. That's the only way I can describe it. I'm useless at describing scents, but if you go into Home Scents or TK Maxx, they have loads of the Sand and Fog ones. And I think we'll have to go back and pick up this scent again. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to a favourite. This is so random. This is honestly the most randomest August favourite I've ever done. But it is an empty bottle because I've just drunk the last one in my fridge. So I need to go repurchase some more. But it is these. They are the Starbucks Frappuccino Caramel Flavoured Iced Coffees, I guess. I pop these in my fridge. I'm not a big fan of coffee. But I don't mind having like, a coffee machine and making it out of there. But I don't like normal coffee. But I am loving these iced coffees right now. They are so good. You just can't get iced coffees like you can like in America, but these ones are so yummy. They're normally about £1.80 each, but if you get them on offer, they're a pound, which is when I tend to stock up. And they're basically to help me get my coffee fix, so I have a bit of energy in the morning to go out and do some stuff, because I feel like, as a mum, coffee's life, right? So... <laughs> These are amazing, they do mockers, they do loads of them, but this is my favourite, it's the caramel cappuccino. 
And then next up, I haven't got them all, but it's these little straws. Um, now these are metal straws. I shared these on my Instagram ages ago. And if you don't follow me over on Instagram, I'm over there daily. So if you'd like to pop on over, I do lots of waffle about mum life, about cleaning, just about life in general. And you will always hear me over there first when I'm doing some video and some content. So if you wanna be the first to know stuff, head on over, I'll leave my link and my handle on screen for you. However, I picked up these straws ages ago. There were six in a pack. I got them from Amazon. I'll leave them linked below. But I was basically fed up of going into Costa Coffee or McDonald's or wherever it was. And every time I got a drink, they'd give me those stupid bloody cardboard straws. <laughs> they were just no good. My straw would disintegrate within seconds. So I picked up my own. I shoved some of them into my bag, some were in my cupboards. There was three like this. There was a silver, a rose gold, and like a multicolored one. And then there was also three that had like a bend to them as well. And I use these for all sorts. And the boys love them. They're just really super handy. They weren't that expensive either. I've got them for life. It comes with like a little straw cleaner, a little pat, like, like a little pouch to carry them out and about with. These are really, really handy. So if you're after some straws, 100% recommend these. Next up is a cleaning product and I have been obsessed with these. This is a spare one that I've got. My one is currently in the wash, but it's the Dr. Beckman Color and Dirt Collector Cloth. You get one in a pack and it lasts up to 30 washes and it's got like this little tick thing on the side. I'm a massive advocate of color catchers and I've had people in the past say to me, why are you using color catchers? Like they don't do much. Honestly, I will actually go and insert a clip. I'll head down in a minute, grab the color catcher, and I'll insert an overlay clip so you can see how much color my color catcher has caught in just four washes, and that's the cloth version. And I never realized how much, like I always get the disposable ones, but there's a little bit on each one, and that's about it. My color catchers are my life. They stop your colors from running. They keep all your colors exactly how you want them. Um, so I've got like a few packs of these now, and I'm really, really chuffed with these. And I wouldn't go back as well because I think these are a lot more like environmentally friendly friendly I guess than using like the disposable ones over and over again and then they go over in my garden when they're attached to washing yeah I just love these I think these are great stop my colors running not much else to say okay next up I'm going to talk to you about a book oh my gosh I finally got back into my reading again I seem to do this like every summer I get back into my reading but I finally got back in my reading and I read this book in about a week a week and a half and I was obsessed I asked you guys over on Instagram, I had one called Cows, I think it's called The Cows or Cows, um, and one called Friend Request, and I asked you guys which one I should read first, and you guys recommended Friend Request, which is what I did, and that is the book that I've read, it is so good, it had me hooked, again a bit of a slow burner at the beginning, but then towards the end I was there, like all day long, absolutely loved it. To put and to cut a long story short because I don't want to tell you what it's about and I'm normally quite bad at not telling people what things are about. It's basically about a woman and a group of friends and one of them gets a friend request from someone in their past and you don't know if that person's dead or alive but that person, yeah, there's just loads of stuff. So this says on the back, Maria Weston wants to be friends with me. Maybe that'd been the problem all along. Maria Weston had wanted to be friends with me, but I let her down. She's been hovering at the edge of my consciousness for all of my adult life, although I've been good at keeping her out. Just a blurred shadow in the corner of my eye, almost, but not quite out of sight. Maria Weston wants to be friends, but Maria Weston has been dead for more than 25 years. Honestly, cannot recommend this enough. I'm gonna bring this back to the library and grab another book because I just find that unless I'm getting audio books and stuff, I'm not I'm not gonna be that person that buys books over and over because I have nowhere to store them and I end up giving them to charity. Um, so I might as well just go to the library. But yes, if you're looking for a read, grab this book. Then next up, I got this in my home sense haul, but you guys know that I love my planners and this is my latest planner and I'm just obsessed with it. I love the colors. I love all like the tones on it as well, like the green and gold tones. Um, and planners are my life. My one is literally exhausted to the end of its being. This one has everything so you can literally plan like all of your months, your goals, just everything basically. You can see everything in here, monthly views, everything like that. So this was 9 99 They do so many of these down in HomeSense. Um, this one was by a brand called, I wanna say Fringe. I think that's who it's by, but then it just has obviously got the logo on it, but I wanna say it's Fringe. So if I can find it, I'll leave it linked below. And I know my friend was asking about it as well. And I said to her that I would send her a picture of who it was by and I completely forgot. I've just been over my house since and I've still forgotten. So now this will prompt me to like tell her, I guess, because I can watch this video back. But yeah, love this planner. All the planners in HomeSense are amazing. So definitely if you're that kind of person, grab one of these. And then the last little few favorites that I wanted to talk you guys through were some television programs that I have been loving, 
loving as of lately. So the first one we watched in a matter of about a week or so. There was like 14 episodes I want to say and it is manifest. I believe it's on Sky One, although if it's not I'll recorrect myself and I'll leave it here for you to have a look. I believe it's on Sky One. I mean it is just blowing me away. It's so good. It had me, it had me and her Adam hooked from the moment we started watching it. We both watched it. It's like a sci-fi but not type look into the future but figure out what's going on mystery type relationship. I mean it puts you through every single emotion you can think of. Like you love every single character in it. There's not one person that you dislike until the very, very end. Um, and honestly, it is just amazing. I have no words to describe it. If you are looking for a program, honestly, I cannot recommend it enough. You will be hooked. So the next program that I have been obsessed with is Handmaid's Tale. Again, I whizzed through all of these quite a few weeks ago and I'm now, I haven't watched the final one yet. I'm pretty sure the final one aired on Sunday and I haven't watched that one yet, but Handmaid's Tale is just amazing. It's about this dystopian type world um, that's created out in America and lots of stuff happens. It's very weird, very screwed up, but you're just hooked. Like from the moment you watch it, you're hooked. You wanna know what happens next, what the storyline's gonna go to. And um, yeah, I, I'm just obsessed with that. So if you like that sort of thing, I believe that is what is that on that's on BBC it's on BBC one I'm sure it's on BBC one I'm not sure now again if I'm wrong I'll recorrect myself I'm pretty sure it's BBC one it might be channel four I'm pretty sure it's BBC one maybe it's channel four I think it's channel four actually but yeah it's so so good so if you like that type of thing again I would highly recommend that program and then how could I forget the last two programs that have made a comeback into my life recently so I've got two of them again the next seasons of both of them have just started first one is Peaky Blinders I am hooked again I've watched Peaky Blinders actually I think I started watching it last year or the year before and we did like caught up with loads of reruns then we went off of it for ages then a couple of about a month or two ago caught up with the next season or the next two seasons and I was hooked again and now the new series has just launched again I'm obsessed with Peaky Blinders I'm pretty sure it's on BBC One now um really really good it's about like how can I describe it um it's about guys based in Birmingham after World War One. It's kind of like they've got this like whole like brotherhood gang, sort of American gangster type vibe, but not. I don't know, it's like that and it shows him moving through the ranks. And the current season is just amazing as well. So Peaky Blinders 100% recommend. And then the last series I recommend to you guys is Power. Oh my gosh. Again, I started watching this last year. I was hooked. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. It's the one that features 50 Cent and um, it is just amazing. I am absolutely obsessed with it and it's the final series. I'm so sad it's finishing but everything is just taking a big turn in the final series. Again, it had me hooked. I cannot wait for the next episode. It's so good. Again, it's based around like drugs and crime, and um, but you follow the storyline, you see like people fall in and out of love. It's just so good. So again, I cannot recommend that enough. And then the very final thing physically that I have to show you that is an absolute favorite, a bit of a random one, so I put it right at the very end because not everyone will be into this sort of thing, but I love like my designer purchases and stuff like that. And as a little treat to myself, a few months ago, it was like a very belated birthday type present. I picked myself up this. Now this looks completely random. I did tons of research into it, but it has been an absolute godsend. Now this is a key holder. And like I said, it sounds really random, but I always need something a bit bigger in my bag to find my keys. So. I have bought over and over and over and over again those pom-poms and they drive me bloody insane because they always break. Um, so I picked myself up this key holder. They do a few different ones, but I'm obsessed with this one. It's by Louis Vuitton. It matches my purse and my handbag that I use daily and have used daily for like years now. And basically it's just got all my keys in it, um, my car keys and stuff like that. And then it's also got um, like my club cards and stuff like that. And then in the back, I also store my bank card. Now this has been a godsend for the school run. Now when I pop out of the morning, I grab my phone and I grab this and I'm good. I've got my keys, I've got my bank card if I need it. I don't need to bring my purse out anymore. I don't need to bring a handbag. Unless I'm going out for a day trip, then I'll have my big handbag anyway. Grab both of those and I'm sorted. It keeps my keys streamlined. No big bulky pom pom hanging out. Now this was 160 pounds from Louis Vuitton. 
I mean, it's absolutely stunning. They do loads of different colours. I know £160 seems a lot of money, but like I said, I did a lot of research into this. You can take off however many keys that you want. So if you just want three in there, or you want six, whatever it may be. Like I said, I've just got a few of my keys in there. So for me, it's really, really handy. It holds my car key. And for me, this is like an investment piece. I love my designer purchases. And I think this is a really good, handy thing for me to do. But even if you don't necessarily want a designer one, I would highly recommend trying to get hold of a like a key holder, because this has been a godsend. And now most of the time, I just go out with this and my phone. That is it, but um, yeah, I am obsessed with this. Okay, and that is it. They are all my monthly favourites. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what your favourite item was down below and let me know if there's any favourites of yours this month that you've been loving that you think I need to try or have in my life, whether that's a TV programme, a drink, a food item, a candle, however random it may be. Let me know in the comments box below. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed watching so I know that you want to see more of this type of thing on my channel going forward in the future. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye guys!